Lane here from Maker's Lane. My mother-in-law recently retired and she thoroughly enjoys gardening. So I thought it might be nice to build her a, a, a bench so that she can do all of her potting in. So it should look a little something like this. And that's the idea, but I have all these pallets that I have and I wanna try and build almost everything out of materials from these pallets. So that's what I'm gonna do today. We're gonna to build a pallet flower bench. Let's get started. got all the wood taken apart so there's a lot of it now that we have all these skids taken apart we can get started on making the frame I only have of these longer skids I only have six of these boards I want to make it and these are roughly six foot tall they're actually closer to like 68 inches but anyways so that's how tall I'm gonna make it so I'm gonna use four of those. I have six of them. I'm gonna use four of those on the back side, make a left part and a right part, and then put them together. So these won't quite have to stretch the whole length of the table itself. I'm gonna first build one half and then build the second half. So a couple things interesting that I'm gonna do on these, this table. On the working platform, one, one side is going to slide open and I'm going to use a metal pail for dirt to put dirt in. So that way you can open it up and then you know dig the dirt out, put it in stuff, and then it's co covered up. Then it's also going to have platforms on the bottom that all have handles on them that you can pull out. So if you want to put potting soil on there, so that way you don't have to you know reach back and pull it out, you can you know put it on the shelf and then slide it back in there. Other than that, it's gonna be pretty simple. Yeah, let's get started. Here's the back first half, so I need one more right there. The next thing I want to do is put these two back pieces together, and then I will be build the front frame, and then we can put those two together. Okay, so now that I have these two pieces, the front half and the back half complete, I need to put a joist that uh, goes from here to here and that's flush with these two surfaces. So I'm gonna cut these pieces and then this one's just gonna sit flat against here so it's gonna sit on the inside of this board and it's gonna sit on the inside of here. So, But what I'm gonna do to make it flush is I'm gonna just notch the top of it out. So what I'm gonna do, is, it's basically gonna look like this but a smaller version, but just so that way it sits flush like that and it can still sit against the wall. So it's, it's the most uh, secure way I can do it. So I'm gonna have the actual slats, these guys, these are gonna be running this way and not this way. So because of that, I need to put another support here, but I just need to make these platforms as secure as possible because they're gonna have like plants and bags and everything on it. So let's go. All right, so all the cross members have been cut with the notches in them so that they fit with these underneath these boards. So the next step will be to attach the cross members to these two pieces so that we have a working bench and then we can start putting some pallets on there.
So here we go, the basic shape of the bench. So, oh, I still missed, I missed one there. Oops. Okay, uh, I did intentionally leave this one out because this is where a pail is going to sit. So it's going to sit underneath here. And so you're gonna be able to take and slide this section out. So I don't wanna put that in there and I don't know how thick I'm gonna make it yet. So I'm just gonna leave it out for right now. What I will do, so I'm also going to like right here, I'm gonna have a slider so you can pull it out to put soil on and slide it back. And then I'll do the same thing over here and the center will just be plain. So I gotta build something for that still. And then up here, I'm going to build some shelves and then the top will have some sort of shelf or something on it too. So I still gotta build that. So I think the next step, what I'm gonna do is build the slider table for that and the slider tables for this. That way I can just put all the, all the all uh, these boards on last and that way I don't have to skip back and forth. So I'm gonna build that guy, another one over here and another one over here. And to do that, I'm just gonna use some like standard 18 inch drawer sliders. I think I got anti-slam ones. So they're just sliders. So I went ahead and framed up the drawer that I'm gonna make for the that part. So it was actually convenient. These skids have these cutouts in them. And so I just use this. This will be like the handle that you pull out. So this will basically go right in here like this. And then I'll have the slides and I'll just Boop, slide out. So now I need to frame that up. So now what I'm gonna do is instead of what I did before where I kind of like framed it up and then put it on there and made sure everything fit and everything, I'm actually gonna put the hinges on ahead of time and then make that fit this. That way I know the slides work perfectly and all I have to worry about is anchoring this to the bench itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the sliders on and then we'll get both of these attached to the bench.
right, so here's what I'm thinking for the frame of this. Here's the bucket I got right now. So it just barely fits in here. So what I'm gonna do is, I also wanna be able to take this bucket out, so I'm just gonna use this lip, and I'm gonna put two uh, boards across here and then boards across here and just kind of grab it. It's got a taper to it a little bit. I should just be able to grab it and it should hold there and it should be able to support the weight. I mean, if not, worse comes to worse, I just drill through this bucket and it becomes permanent. But for right now, I'm just gonna put an external frame around this and just so you can slide it in here. I guess we can start laying slats down. There's probably a couple other things I'm gonna to want to frame up as I go, but I think for the most part that's the general frame. So Got a couple drawers. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my. shelf here a larger shelf there and then I'm going to just fill in the top of these shelves with the back plate so that way when you're putting stuff on the shelves nothing falls back but then I'm going to leave this area down here open let's build these shelves now
All right. So I just loaded it up into the truck. You can see it right there. I'm going to go deliver it to my mother-in-law. It just started raining, so this should be fun. I went ahead, I didn't film it, but I sanded a bunch of the stuff down. I didn't want to do it too much because I didn't want to ruin the rustic kind of, you know, distressed look of it. So I just kind of hit it with the sandpaper just to, just to kind of get all the stuff to potentially splinters. It's the only thing I'm kind of worried about since it is rough, if she goes to reach for something, she might get a splinter. Fortunately, when she gardens, she's always wearing gloves. So I think that'll mitigate that issue. So here she is, all done, put together, got all the stuff on it. My mother-in-law was, was very pleased with how it turned out. Some of the things she wanted me to mention that she really enjoyed was the fact that this is 36 inches tall. She said that was very crucial for when she's uh, working on stuff, doing different things here, so that she's able to get things easily. Another thing that she really liked is that I did this difference in heights, so that obviously she has you know taller pots here and shorter pots here. That, that was really, really important to her. One thing that I could have done that I didn't do is I could have gone with the design of the back all the way down. I decided not to, that way you could like, you know, sweep things off. And I wanted this to be able to like, you couldn't push through on accident, something fall behind where this I didn't think was important. Placement of the hooks, I might have done them a little bit different because some of these taller ones might get in the way. The other thing that she really enjoyed is the fact that these, these guys slide out so that she doesn't have to worry about if she has tall pot or heavy pots, you know, them being in the back gonna be harder to lift where now she can just reach them right here. One of the features that she absolutely loves is the fact that the soil here is hidden but it's still here so she can be working you know right here and pull soil out and put it right in. So that was a feature that she really enjoyed and the fact that she still has all this counter space. She said the 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 length of this was absolutely amazing because she has all this area to work with. But yeah the overall this, this project came out really well. The fact that I built it with skids I mean, it was, it was pretty difficult building it with skids. Uh, nothing, nothing is square, basically. So everything on here is very rough. And I mean, you can tell that by how it came out. But for the fact that it is built out of rough material, it's very sturdy, very, very strong. You know, it doesn't, doesn't really move much and it's, and it's very stable. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Okay, basically, the only thing that I used that was not skid material was the screws, the sliders, and this bucket. Not a, single, not a single piece of wood on here is built out of anything other than skid material. If you guys have any questions, just uh, hit me up in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm Lane from Makers Lane. You guys have a good one.